What's up everybody? It's me Dylan back again with yes a haunted video no longer reaction videos I am actually able to walk like you guys saw in the last video when I returned to the farm uh, And today we're actually at a place that it's kind of near and dear to me It's somewhere that I grew up kind of going to a lot uh, We're up here in New Jersey at the Pine Barrens So I do have CJ who's over there eating like usual I got Chris over here getting his camera ready um, we're gonna be camping here as you can probably see by the fire going over me so the Pine Barrens for those of you that don't know has so much history uh, dating all the way back to even the 17 like hundreds so like about 1735 ish uh, when Mother Lead actually gave birth to her 13th child um, and she actually asked for this one to be the devil and then the Jersey Devil was born uh, once it was born it flew out of the chimney and disappeared into the Pine Barrens um, so that's the local history that it's been in Jersey for as long as I've been born, obviously, because it's been since the 1700s. Um, but everybody swears that they've seen the Jersey Devil at least once when you're out here in the Pine Barrens. Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird place. I mean, the whole idea of the Lenape tribe were here, and they actually used to catch like a bunch of weird shadows and stuff like this before, like even the 1700s when the Lead family had the Jersey Devil. Right. There was a whole bunch of stuff. What? Chris, get out of here. She didn't make love to a horse. She did not f a horse. She did not. No, she did not. She did not. But anyway, yeah, so uh, there's also been a lot of bodies found that are related to the mob and all that throughout the Pine Barrens. So I personally see shadow figures here. I've heard noises when I was out here with my friends. So I figured what a better place to come with the boys to try to get a video. Uh, but before I do that, I got to talk about the sponsor of this video who actually gave me some new paranormal gear to be checking out. So this is the Tesman EMF meter. So this right here has three different modes. So you can switch between, it even works for contractors. There's like electrical waves, there's magnitude of the earth, there's radio frequencies there's so much that you can do with this it has a three different point directionals so you can do x y and z it has noise sensing so if it peaks i will actually know because it'll make a sound right away is that the fire what the hell was that i don't know i don't know if that was the fire or a tree but anyway but, so this will make noise when it goes off so i will know when it actually goes off big shout out to these guys and thank you so much for trusting me at this if you guys want to get one below please go to the link down in the description to get one uh, yeah, I'm really excited to use this. I tested this out just a little bit when I got here and it peaked a couple times So I'm really excited for you guys to hear the noise that makes it and see what we can capture while we're out here Because like you said, there's so much history behind here So anyway, I'm gonna let Chris finish getting ready do his intro and then me him CJ will do God knows what probably being stupid and splitting up like always I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. No, so but one of the best uh, things about that EMF meter though Is every single time that it peaks it's like daddy. Oh my god Talking to me. Uh, talking to here we go. Here we go. This is why I can never get anything done. So, so you guys should go down to the link in my description below if you want to purchase one for yourself. Like I said, we will be using this. We'll be using the thousand grouse and everything. But big thank you to Tesman again for this product. I'm very excited to use this from now on. All right, guys. So the boys are all splitting up. CJ and Chris are getting in their vehicles and they're driving to different parts. Um, I'm actually going to stay around the camp area. There's a bunch of trails and I'm going to walk a bunch of areas, see what I can find. Um, it's definitely getting cold. It's getting a little bit creepy out here. Um, there's CJ over to my left. It's getting a little bit creepy out here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect out here. So it's been a while since I've been out in the Pine Barrens and to be out here alone for the first time back in a while is not that comforting because normally I have a group of people so uh, yeah I would just wish me luck hopefully the Jersey Devil doesn't snatch me up hopefully I don't like you know stumble upon somebody or something that I don't want to uh, yeah so uh. I am going to start my Tasman EMF meter while we're walking, see if we get any hot spots. So let me turn this on. Okay. All right. So it is going. I'll put it just so you guys know. It is on. You can hear it beeping. So 
I might keep going ahead here. Hopefully you guys can hear it clicking and beeping. All right, here's all the sand. This is very common in the pines. Uh, a lot of sand. It's like little ruts from cars, so I'm trying to be careful because of my foot. any spirits that are out here right now my name is Dylan I don't mean any harm I just want to get some answers I've heard some stories I'm personally from not too far from here and I've seen some things so I want to uh, get some answers from you guys if you would like to communicate with me you can talk into my camera you can make some noises you can touch this device in my hand the closer you get the more it'll go off It's like, it's so creepy back here. Like you guys might be able to see Chris's car back there in the fire, but yeah, it's like, uh, being out here alone is not the brightest decision I've ever made. It's very cold too, do you think? Look at that weird shape of that tree. It's wild. All right, let's just keep walking and see if we hear anything or see anything. Or like a trout on my right. I think I'm gonna walk down this trout on my right. I'm like really nervous to be out here. So far, nothing's going off on the EMF meter. We did ask too far campsite to try and get one of the more hot spot kind of haunted spots. Uh, that's what I did put us over by the water. This trail goes on forever. Sorry, I'm looking at the ground, guys. I'm just trying to see my steps on where I'm walking. It's like a big open area over there. Hello? I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but that was a whistle. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's so creepy down here. Alright, I'm going to stop the EMF meter for a second. I'm going to pull up my phone and get Spirit Talker out. Let's see if we can get any answers on that. I don't know what that noise was. It was really weird. I have literally no service out here. Spirit Talker is running. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. So this way I can use my flashlight. To any spirits that are here right now, I wanna communicate with you. Can you tell me your name? I don't know what that voice was I just heard. Oh, strange. Okay. So we did Spirit Talker hasn't said anything yet either. Oh, ritual. That scared the hell out of me. Okay, yeah, there was a lot of rituals that happened out here. Can you tell me more about them? Alright, something just broke in the woods. I've missed talking. You've missed talking? Well, please use your voice and please talk with me. I don't mean any harm, I'm just here to get some answers. I'm gonna just like be quiet and let it talk for a minute. Hello? I feel like people are watching my every move. It feels very weird back here. I can be a watch from all angles. Is there somebody around me right now? Your family. What about family?
Oh my god, this truck is on forever. I don't know which way to go, guys. Sorry, I'm not really talking about you guys. I'm just trying to get my bearings right now. Can you make a noise in the direction you want me to go? Alexander. Oh, nice to meet you, Alexander. I'm Dylan. Can you tell me how you got here? Hello? More. More what? Oh my goodness, guys. Face. Face? Okay, where's the face at? Can you show yourself to me? Go this way. <laughs> this does not feel great. I'm like nervous, I'm on edge. Badly. Are you saying something bad's gonna happen? Oh shit, there's a car down there. Tragedy. tragedy. Yeah, there was a tragedy that happened out here. There's a couple of them. Archibald. Was that you, Archibald? I 
All right, I'm gonna go back out this way before I get lost. And I'm gonna go back down the Mark Trail. What did that say? Hang on guys, sorry, I know it's probably pretty dark. Hate. What do you hate? You trying to say that you hate me being here? Port. Port. Well, you can keep on talking to me. I'm gonna walk back towards this to go find another trail. Your name is John. Well, nice to meet you, John. My name is Dylan. Uh. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm all Mary. turning around. Mary. We're getting a lot of names. Um, this is kind of what I expected. Being that so much tragedy happened here, we would get a lot of names. There's so much history. I hope I'm going back the right way. Because I literally don't remember a lot of this. Because it all looks kind of the same. Uh, I really don't like being out here alone. Like, you can't tell me that's not a Bigfoot. Hey, look at the way that tree's bent. That I heard a Jersey Devil, but something bent that tree. That takes a lot of force. Like, a lot of force. I'll get you. You'll get me? Why do you want to get me? Alright, that was a voice. I'm gonna hold my camera a little bit lower for you guys. We're still here. You're still here? Okay. Well, I'm glad to know you're still here. Why are you still here? I'm definitely heading back the right way. I remember those logs now. Bag. Bad. What's bad here? I know there's a lot bad here, but can you tell me what? Oh my gosh, this walk back feels way longer than to walk in. I'm all confused on where I am. I'm like turned around, I'm lost. <sighs> window. Window? Oh, there's no window here. Sorry, I keep like looking left and right, guys. I'm like paranoid, something's watching me everywhere I look. I think that's the main walkway.
My camera's like rapidly dying, like super fast. Um, I hope my other batteries have a charge. Are you draining my energy right now? Set out something falling out of the tree. Huh. Pain. Oh, that's headlights. Oh, that's headlights down there. Pain. Please don't cause me pain. Oh, there's headlights coming. I'm walking this way. Oh my god. I hope this is one of the guys, honestly. Um, uh, I'm gonna turn this camera around for a second here, guys. Um, I honestly, that trail, it goes way further deep into the woods, but I just didn't feel that comfortable and safe in there alone, honestly. Um, Especially with just recovering from a broken foot. Normally I would venture in that way. But I don't feel quite... Oh, the car's coming. I think it might be CJ. Uh, but I just don't feel super comfortable, honestly, walking deep into the woods just rehabbing from a broken foot. So I do apologize for that because normally I would. Um, but there's some weird noises in here. It could be paranormal. It could be an animal. Um, I didn't see any animals, so I don't know. It's a little bit strange. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking this way though. We got a lot of names. I don't know if this is one of the guys or not. I don't wanna like really walk towards it. I'm gonna walk this way. I don't know if this is C day or not. See? Yeah, I can see. This is stupid. I don't know why I'm walking towards a truck. I really hope this is CJ. All these pink markers telling you which way to go, which are nice. I hope that's CJ. I really hope that's CJ. I really hope that's him. Whoa. Thank God that's Where you. The... How are you Thank this far? God. Dude, I walked through a trail and I got lost. Like, I legit got lost, dude. Dude. Like, I literally got lost. I was like... Look at the side of my truck. Look at the scratch Dude, down the side the of my... Look at that. Dude. It gets real bad right here. Oh my god, dude. Oh no. Yeah. No. That ain't coming out, brother. No. That is not coming out R.I.P. the all. Red Beast. It's time to trade her in now. Damn, dude. Yeah, there's a car back there. That might be Chris. That looks like Chris. I hope. Did he go down this way? He went like down around. I think the road like loops around. Cause I saw. I was hoping this was Bro, your I truck. Came from like so far back there, it's like, like funny. Dude, I literally don't know how I got here. I literally got lost. I went down the same trail. I came down. I ended up down here. I don't know. That don't look like Honda headlights, buddy. I don't know who that is then. Here, hop, hop in the back seat back here. No, no, this one. Just hop in there. Oh my god, dude! Let me turn this flashlight. So I'm not blinding you. 
buddy. Like Clear. I am severely. Nah, dude, that ain't Honda headlights. No. I can't see behind me. Yeah, that's definitely not Honda headlights. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they get their license plate. Yep. Is that a Tesla? No, it's a Toyota. Gotcha, I can't see because your windows are so dark. Why? Like, where did they come from? I don't know. That actually might have been the... So I ran into people... Or there's a vehicle parked way down there on the left side of like this bridge. Really? Yeah. Dude, I don't know. I don't even know how I got down this far, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know where I'm at. Where's our camp at? I, I think like straight ahead, like a quarter mile. All right, we've got the fire going. We've got the rim pot out. It's time to ask some questions, guys. Oh, and man. the questions that we're going to be asking, I'm going to lead this off. I like your hand warmer. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I, want I want one. Wait, listen. That's a plane, but is that is not a plane? So I saw a light. I saw a light. It was like a quick light. I just didn't know if it was like a plane or. All right. That's weird. So, long story short. Oh, this is hand warmers. Yeah. Oh my god. They're gosh. great, right? Hey, we got to give a shout out to um, Sandy. Sandy, who came to and the farm, husband. and her husband. I'm gonna put their uh, uh, a video of her right here, or a picture of her. Thank you for these hand warmers. They are the greatest things. Rechargeable. Since bread. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. I left mine at home. I know. Oh, I'm too, so Andy, sad. Too. It's so hot. All right, so guys, I'm gonna do some stuff that. Is... The f is that? that? It was like what? behind you, Chris. What noise? I don't even know what you see. You said it came from behind me. Yeah. I thought it was up here. All right. This is strange. You're freezing. Try yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm freezing. All right. All right. If there are any spirits here inside of this forest, Maybe you might not be the Jersey Devil. Maybe you were uh, an unfound body. Maybe you're just residual energy here. We feel your presence. Oh, we've had we've had weird stuff been happening. Can you touch that rim pod right there for us, please? Let us oh. know you're at least here. And maybe that you're. Maybe you think you're alive. Can you touch that rim pod for us? Can you just go up to it? Like I'm gonna give you an example real quick. That little red light. If you go towards it and touch it, it will go off just like that. So if you can, please do come something. Over here. <laughs> please do something. Cool. <laughs> there ain't no shit, no shit, shit gonna happen. Is that a dead snake? Where? I know you see spiders, but I don't see you see a snake. Oh no, it's just like paracord. Oh, dude, don't. Dude, that, that tripped me up for a second. Oh, that literally looks like. <laughs> it does. It does. That's wild. <laughs> 